What is a vaccine? A vaccine is a biological solution which triggers an immune response that leads to a period of acquired immunity. What does this all mean? Our body has a complex system of defence where many tiny cells are involved in catching and destroying invading cells and viruses which can otherwise make us seriously ill. The first time a new invader attacks us, it can take a long while for the body's defence to recognise and react to the antigen of the invader. An antigen is what immunologists call a biological tag that is found on every individual invading cell. This tag is very specific to the invading bacteria or virus, and for this reason it is useful in producing vaccines. The body's immune cells will recognise the invading antigen and try to produce an antibody that is specific and will lock onto the antigen of the invader. An antibody is a Y-shaped protein as part of the immune system which identifies and tries to get rid of invading cells. However, this process can take a long time as there are thousands and thousands of different types of antibodies the body can produce and only one will lock onto the antigen in order to try and defeat the invader. During this period, the body will raise its core temperature in order to deter the invaders and if the invading bacteria or virus is fast acting like the coronavirus is, it will have enough time to make you very ill. If your immune system is weakened by age or other factors, this can make you very ill. If you successfully survive these invaders, the immune system will remember which antibodies it used to get rid of the threat. This is called acquired immunity. If the virus or bacteria tries to invade again, it won't have much time to act as the response the second time will be much quicker and you may not fall ill at all. Of course, some people with weakened immune systems may feel ill the second time and some may even die from the second infection. Vaccines are very common and you may have seen a few or taken a few in your life if you have travelled internationally or in schools for diseases such as meningitis. Vaccines work by giving the body these specific antigens for a particular disease, such as smallpox. The immune system then can recognise the antigen for smallpox and can produce the antibodies which will get rid of the smallpox if it ever comes invading again. Vaccines are great because they provide the bad antigens without actually giving any of the harmful cells. So that means you won't actually cause any damage whilst the body is trying to find the right antibodies. This is also the reason why it can take up to two weeks for a vaccine to become active after your injections. During this period, the body is trying to find the right antibodies to fight off the invasion. How are standard vaccines made? Up until the past year, vaccines have always taken about 10 to 15 years to produce and were made by taking the invading virus and growing them in chicken eggs or other mammalian cells. This virus, however, was what you called a deactivated virus, and therefore it cannot cause any harm to the body, but it will contain the right antigen on its surface. The immune system would then come along and detect the invading virus, and it will give your body enough time to find the correct set of antibodies without worrying about falling ill from it. How does the new coronavirus vaccine differ from other vaccines? The new coronavirus vaccines are not based on the old model of growing the deactivated virus cells and then injecting them into healthy people. Instead, it is delivered to the body what is known as mRNA. mRNA, short for messenger RNA, is a single-stranded molecule, unlike DNA which is double-stranded. This molecule is responsible for providing the messages or instructions to build new structures within cells. The new coronavirus vaccines work by delivering a strand, which is a piece of mRNA, into the body. This mRNA piece is able to deliver a message to protein-forming units of the body to produce the antigen, which is exactly specific to the antigen of the coronavirus. And this is found in the spike proteins of the coronaviruses. As the antigen is present, but the invading coronavirus cells are not, the body has enough time to actually find the right antibodies. When the antibody specific to the coronavirus is found, the immune system will remember it. If, say, after two weeks from taking the vaccine jab, you were infected by the coronavirus on your way to work, your body will respond very fast to this infection and you may not even realise that you had it. So why are people worried? Like I said before, vaccines usually take about 10 to 15 years to develop and they go through rigorous testing to make sure they have no bad side effects, both for short term and for long term. 
Because these new vaccines have not been tested for that long, people are worried about their long term effects. However, this new vaccine does not work in the same way as before. The vaccine does not contain any virus particles, living nor dead. All it contains is the strand of mRNA message that is encased in lipid nanoparticles. These nanoparticles are basically very tiny bubbles made of lipids, which are made of hydrogen and carbon. The nanoparticles themselves are harmless because they're made of natural materials found otherwise inside the body. The mRNA itself is not harmful as it has no means of attacking. The message it gives to the building cells of the body is to produce the antigens of the coronavirus only. Once the mRNA piece does its job, it is removed from the body. The vaccine will not stay in the body. The only thing that stays, hopefully, are the antibodies produced as a result of the coronavirus antigens, and these will again diminish over time. This is why you may need frequent coronavirus jabs like you do with the common flu. Here we have a brilliant figure which demonstrates how the coronavirus vaccine works, and this was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. See that a lipid nanoparticle encases an mRNA strand. This is then injected into the muscle, where the mRNA then finds a ribosome. Ribosomes are molecules found inside the body that take RNA and can produce proteins. In the case of the coronavirus vaccine, they produce spike proteins of the coronavirus. These spike proteins will have the antigens of the coronavirus, and then the immune system of the body will recognize these antigens and produce antibodies. So just as I was about to finish this video, my trusted 5D Mark II DSLR gave up the ghost. And now I'm filming it on my phone. But thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please share so that others can find out how the coronavirus vaccine works. And I'd give the thumbs up and also write a comment down below if you'd like to see more of these explanation videos. And also don't forget to subscribe. This is the first time I'm asking you to subscribe. And again, thank you for watching this video.